approach. Could you talk a little bit about game five, maybe what were some of the keys and coming out with a win there? Oh, well, I think uh, our special teams was big, you know, getting the power play goal to go up one nothing, and then getting the timely penalty kills uh, throughout regulation and into overtime. Um, you know, Marky made some big saves for us, and then, uh, you know, we got a number of timely goals there from Cullen and Dariluk. All right, what's going through your head when you're going through a double overtime like that? Uh, let's make sure we score the next shift. Uh, you know, there's nothing, you know, all you can do is continue to play hard uh, like you've been playing all game. You know, I thought we controlled a good portion of the pace of the game, and we just had to continue to keep up that pressure. I mean, the fans know that y'all had an early flight out of Chicago. Uh, anything that y'all did special to celebrate this time? You know, the guys enjoyed each other's company, you know, had dinner together, and probably, probably had an adult beverage together. Um, you know, but all in all, you know, they enjoyed the moment that night. They enjoyed a day off on Saturday and Sunday, and then back to work today to focus on Oklahoma City. Well, it's kind of playing to our identity. You know, we're both two very good defensive hockey clubs. We have to make sure that we continue to defend well. We've got to take care of the puck. Um, and then our special teams has to continue. Um, the power play's got to continue to get stronger, uh, as well as the penalty kill needs to be sharp, um, you know, every chance. Is there anything you're particularly looking forward to playing in You know, not really. You know, they're a good team. Uh, they're the second best team in the league for a reason. And uh, it's going to be a tough matchup for us, but it's one that, you know, we know if we play the right way, we can give ourselves a chance to win games. Crazy. In game five, what were some of the keys to winning that game? Uh, I think uh, it was our, a big start. I mean, we, we played so well game four, and we came up a little short, but, I mean, the energy we had we, was a big thing that we came out strong, and no matter what, we, had, uh, we knew that we were going to win, and we just had to play like a... Uh, I mean, a million things. But anyway, you want to stay, you want to stay focused, you want to stay confident, and you just got to focus on the task at hand. And the next shift that you're going to have, you want to make sure that you play as hard as possible. And especially going to double, double overtime, and you're obviously getting fatigued. It's a, uh, it becomes more mental than physical after that. All right, and after the game, how did you all celebrate with your early flight in the late game? <laughs> uh, I mean, we we ate, and then, I mean, we kind of had a little. Little thing in the dressing room where we chanted Roman's name, but I mean, everyone was so exhausted, and especially having to be up so early. I mean, we didn't really celebrate him. It was only the first round, so we want to, we'll, we'll save the big celebration for we when we win it all. All right, and looking forward to Oklahoma City, what are some of the keys to that beating Oklahoma City? I mean, they, they got good depth through the whole, like from forward all the way to the goaltending. I mean, they're a hard working team, so I think the biggest thing for us is to, to make sure we keep the puck out of their skill. I mean, the guys like Keller and PRV and we need to get pucks to Denny and I think uh, if we play if we play the way we've been playing the last couple games I think we'll do well. All right, and the first two games are here at Oklahoma City. What uh, are you expecting from them up there? In Oklahoma? I mean, it's every every time we've been in there to throw out the the regular season and we've only I think we've either lost by one goal or we won by one goal. So every game's been so tight and. I don't expect anything to change. I mean, they're a good squad. They're, they finished first in their conference, so we have a, a big task at hand, and we're just going to worry about the first period. All right, Alex, what were some of the keys to the games against Chicago, especially Game 5? Game 5, well, Chicago, they're a really, uh, really skilled team, and they like to, to hold on to the puck a lot, try to you know, have possession of the puck a lot. So I think just keeping them uh, to the outside and, Make, making them dumb pucks, make it, making them feel uncomfortable. Um, I think that was probably the, the biggest thing we had to do. And um, for the most part, I thought we did that. And, uh, you know, I thought it was, it was a great trip all around. Now, these are some of your first games in the NHL. And even up there in Chicago, you scored your first uh, goal. What yeah. was that like? Uh, it was exciting. Obviously, it's your first goal as, as a pro player. And, um, I don't know, it was, it was a key goal at the moment. I think, uh, I think we were, what, what was it, like we were down two or something? Or, yeah, so I think, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a huge goal, and I think, uh, you know, Barlow, he made a great pass from, from the half wall in the power play. I just kind of came off the bench and uh, skated to the open spot, and he found me uh, for a perfect pass, and I just I put it in the open net. Right, and we know that you get to keep the, your goal puck. Yeah. What do you plan on doing with it? Oh, well, I, I told Dan, uh, you know, I just, I just took it home, just put it on, put it in my dresser and, uh, you know, kind of 
forgot about that. Hopefully, uh, we don't stop at just one. <laughs> Uh, well, we know Oklahoma, they're obviously a first place team. I um, think uh, today we were working on our breakouts. Uh, just They like to dump the pucks a lot, unlike Chicago. So I think uh, you know, getting back to pucks quickly and uh, just advancing the puck out quicker uh, into the neutral zone and get after, after them and mostly play in their zone. Now, I know it'll be a tough series, but is there anything that you're particularly looking forward to? Uh, I don't know, I guess. There's a lot of great players on that team, like Magnus Pavyarvi, and I think uh, it'd be great to, you know, just to play against those guys and, you know, practice my, see how I am against those guys, and um, I don't know, I think it'll be an exciting, it's our second round, first time for the Rampage, and I know the fans will be uh, very jacked for that. So, uh, say, say you're enjoying your time up here? Yeah, of course. Uh, awesome. Uh, you know, everyone's, I've noticed, is very polite in, in San Antonio, for sure, the city. And uh, I didn't really know how hockey was a big thing down here. And uh, I've noticed lots of fans come to the games and, uh, you know, get a lot more fans than, uh, you know, than what I did back back in Major Juniors, back in Red Deer. And also the weather, uh, unreal down here. I love it. Usually by the pool, the suntan. So it's a great time. Uh, so fans have also noticed that you ended up on Lacey Rabbit and Evan Barlow's Twitter feed a lot. Any plans to jump on Twitter? Oh, no. I kind of try to stay away from that stuff. I, uh, I don't know. I guess for me, it's just I, I, it's not really a big deal for me. I could care less if I had Twitter or Facebook or anything. So I just kind of stay away from that and uh, just kind of stick, stick to my, my life.